card game for me. <laughs> ah, and it's just what I needed after getting stomped in the face by a bunch of nerds. Still, I think I'm starting to like this dimension. Insano is far too busy taking care of that genetic accident he calls a son to be a true science villain. So I guess that task falls onto me. He's coming! Still, it was a lot more entertaining than Q units, so I guess... <laughs> oh, it's you. What do you want? Oh, hello, Linkara. I was just coming to say goodbye. Coming to say goodbye, and you say hello... Never mind. What, you're leaving? Yep, just clearing out of this dimension while I still can. Aw, oh, did the beatdown that we gave you and the other insanos make you all scaredy wearity? <laughs> oh, oh, you sad, stupid, silly little comic book nerd! Did you ever stop and wonder why I left my universe to begin with? Well, no, but then again, I'm still trying to reconcile this whole Spoonie is Dr. Insano thing, which I still don't entirely believe, given what I saw happen before with- HA! You incompetent little worm! There are forces in the multiverse far beyond anything you've ever dealt with. Ancient, mindless evils that fill in the cracks and eat dimensions just for a snack. Monstrous deities, an empire spanning universe after universe, have risen and fallen in the span of forever. But there is still one individual, one being that they are all horrified of. When I saw him coming near my universe, I fled. <laughs> Weep for your universe, Linkara! Weep for all universes! For Lord Vice is coming! <laughs> and all that he sees, he conquers! <laughs> Welcome, guys and dolls, to Adopt the Fourth Wall, where bad comics burn. You're probably wondering where that kid Linkara is. All I've got to say is, what, are you writing a book or something? Get with it. The show producers needed someone to take home the bread while they drag him back, and they wisely asked me to fill in. Ooh, should have seen me out there, little guy, and knocked him dead. You gonna need me next week? No, I have someone else lined up. Good. Call me if it doesn't work out. Found Linkara yet? No. It is very difficult to trace him. Eh, he probably ran off with some broad and a low-cut top. No, you don't understand. There was a powerful energy surge from outside of this dimension. Someone scooped him up out of our universe and is holding him. What about that guy with the goofy goggles? I thought that might be it, but the energy signature was different from anything either Insano or Linksano have ever used. We need to find him. Linkara has knowledge of an access to a lot of powerful items. If they should fall into the wrong hands, the world would be in grave danger. I read to Blue, and if you need anything else, just whistle. And I'll show those punks what happens when you mess with the kid. Dude! Welcome to the newest, bestest, most awesome episode of Atop the Fourth Wall ever! Top the fourth wall, where 90s kid rocks! 90s kid's gonna tell you all about the most awesome comics ever made! Brodsky, you are a genius! 
I fail, then you are my god. Anybody know what rhymes with genius? Or of anything else in the theme song? Nine is kid. He is the man! No! Wait, he is a kid! Uh, wait, aren't I 90s kid? Why, why am I talking about 90s kid as if I'm not actually here? Whoa! This is getting like really meta or something. I, I'm sure the theme song is like some sort of voice, but like I forgot what I was saying and oh, uh, theme song's over! Uh, 90s kid! This comic sucks! Psych! This comic is awesome! However, because I'm so bored at page, what is that, 21? Yeah. Let's go do something much more interesting! We're gonna play some Sega Genesis! The Sega Genesis is the most awesome video game system ever made! And we're gonna play Justice League Task Force! It's totally the same as reviewing Freak Force because, like, they both have force in their name. So, like, it starts out with no music. Wait, where's the music? You will never defeat me. I control the technology. I have the power to control your mind. Dude! So let's start with the hardest settings because, you know, I'm hardcore. And we'll play as Batman because Batman is also hardcore! Uh, that was weird. Let's try again! Superman! This game is awesome! It's hard, which means it's much more interesting to play! So badass! Uh, okay, maybe I should turn down the speed and difficulty. Ha! Now I'm winning! But the cool thing is that it's okay! And now I'll just keep playing! And it just goes on like that for about an hour. What is wrong with you? When I said, do you need me next week, part of that was the implication of, do you have some sort of freak you wouldn't rather replace with someone talented? The episode has already hit the internet. Nothing we can do. Ugh, fine, but you better let me handle next week. No, I've discovered a time to leave message from Linkara that he made in case he ever went missing or was killed. He has already picked his successor. Shouldn't you be more worried about finding the kid? Don't worry about it. I'm close. I finally located an energy trail. Give me about two weeks and we'll have him back. Seriously, why? If you're seeing this message, it means I'm either missing or I'm dead. First priority, find me if I'm missing. Work on resurrecting me if I'm dead. If you're not sure how, ask Poyo. I've been having him work on this. In the meantime, someone else has to carry on the work. There's no one else I trust with this. I know you'll do well. Bad comics beware. Atop the fourth wall lives. I'm Iron Liz, and hey, I got something to say. Oh, hey, Poyo. What's your status? I've localized the trail. He appears to be on a large ship in another dimension. Can you get him back? Working on it now. Shouldn't take more than a week. Awesome. How'd I do? Ask Mr. Fine Voice. Eh, you did fine, kid. Gonna use more singing, though. Maybe a rendition of Nice and Easy? Oh, and next time, ditch the ninja. Guy doesn't know when to shut up. I don't know, Mr. Fine Voice. All these comics are just awful. Seriously, I don't know how he does this every single week. Look, you really want my advice? Sure. 
Stop trying to review stuff like the kid would do it. You gotta be you. You gotta do what you've gotta do. Well, now, what was he gonna review this week? Um, well, it looks like it says, Spider-Man One More Day. I'm giving in to the peer pressure. Forget about it. What do you want to review? Ewoks. Before they can celebrate, a giant sea serpent knocks over their boat. They survive the attack, but Tebow rapidly starts sinking. Guess those pearls must be made of lead if he's sinking this fast. So Wicket swims down after him, but starts to pass out thanks to the lack of breath. What in Ava Gardner's forbidden pass was that? The process to bring the car back has begun. Come quickly. Have you got Linkara back? Not exactly. Spill the beans, baby blue! I can't get an exact lock on Linkara. It's too well shielded. However, I can beam up anything in the room that's about his size in one large burst. I think that means we're expecting company. Arm yourselves. Way ahead of you, Ian. Right. Apparently time moves at a different pace in the universe you are being held in. Well, the important thing is, I'm back, we kick ass, and I'm looking forward to a nice long vacation. Wait, wait, wait. Aren't we forgetting something? The review! <laughs> I think those kids are gonna be okay. Do you ever actually light that cigarette? Shut up. So, I don't suppose you'd like to stick around and, I don't know, review a couple of things while I get caught up, would you? Nah, to be honest, comics really aren't my thing. I prefer RPGs! How did you make the text appear like that? 
How did you do it with the Ewoks joke? Ah, touche. Report my shade. <laughs> so this world's champion has escaped. No matter. The entity has fled to this universe, and so I set my gaze upon it. And all that I see... 